Vyakti. Welcome to Vyakti Parivar. Today is day 29th. The greatness of purity. Purity, supremely worthy of worship. Dear Vyakti Signal, supremely worthy of worship. The power of purity makes you supremely worthy of worship. You transform this impure world with the power of purity. The power of purity cools down souls who are burning in the fire of vices. It frees souls from the bondage of vices of many births. With this purity, this world is supported a little from the copper age onwards. Know the importance of this and adopt the crown of the light of purity. That is a yagya protector point. Baba's yagyas or families, either someone does the defame, Dadi would not be able to listen to that. Dadi would understand that that would be a sin. Dadi always used to be the yagya protector. She used she, it used to be in her intellect always that this is this yagya is our father's yagya and everybody should together protect it. If anybody would. Uh, disobey uh, the principle or the mariada, then she would she would not tolerate that the the defame of the father if anybody would do that then she would uh, become the shakti form and take decisions sakar baba He hid himself, but Dadi always did not let that happen. She always had a lot of love and uh, she always sacrificed for this world. Uh, let's now listen to Didi Chi. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Pavitrata Srishti ko thabane ka adhar hai. Purity is the basis of uh, keeping the world intact. Where there is purity, there is happiness, there is peace. And most importantly, there is uh, fullness. With purity, there is completeness. There are many who stay pure in the world, but their purity and Baba's children's purity has a lot of difference. There is one purity of the actions. Secondly, of words. Thirdly, of mind. Then of attitude, of vision. So Baba, we 
makes children complete, voiceless, and complete, pure, virtuous, because even slightest impurity, any one of the vices of five, if there is impurity of any of those vices, then there is no power. So Baba says that the intellect yoga should be only connected to one. And I have always had this aim in my life. The attitude should not go anywhere. Even while eating food, whatever we receive from Baba's kitchen, eat in Baba's remembrance. And when we eat in remembrance, then it can become power, the power that we receive from Brahma Bhujan. One time, Dadi Janki said that there was a sister who, whenever the food was prepared for Baba, she used to always prepare something else. And whenever she when she left the body and the bhog was being offered, there was always some obstacle and the bhog wasn't being offered. Then we found that she would never accept Baba's bhog. So it was the attitude. So uh, we have kept the aim that Baba's remembrance is more important and see how Brahma Baba, even for two weeks, he gave everyone the buttermilk and uh, bread. And many had the thought, this is not good. This is like cold and it's not warm. And they fell sick. Yes, for health reason, it's important. But when there's attitude, there is this attachment. And that attitude whether it's, you know, you like something to watch, see, then the the vision will keep going there again and again. So the purity of vision, purity of uh, attitude, and of uh, words. We should never have uh, through our words uh, any anything that's uh, low grade, low uh, vibrations for anyone. Because as we speak uh, to others, we will receive the same similar sort of uh, language they will talk to us in same words. So when it comes to purity, what Baba says that we have to, that it actually transforms the world and our purity is divinity. In golden age, we all are divine. And not only human beings, but matter, everything, elements are pure. And then the slowly the degrees decline and in copper age, the body consciousness begin and there is body conscious. And then the degrees further decline and the stage becomes Tamo uh, Pradhan. And now at the present time, we are becoming Sato Pradhan from Tamo Pradhan, pure from impure. So when I have in my mind that every thought of mind is working, is doing something, then each pure thought, each loving thought in the mind will somewhere in the world send that power and it will be used somewhere. So this is a big unlimited service. So if my thought is wasted, then there will not be any service. So uh, what they say that we become worthy of worship 
through purity. This is the memorial on the path of devotion. In golden age, there is no worshiping. It's just a stage of being worthy of worship. But at confluence age, there is this importance that we have to understand of purity that we have to have purity at every level, no arrogance, no ego of anything, no greed of for anything, no sort of attachment. Sometimes uh, we don't have attachment for every, uh, for all, but maybe one or two is left that we are attached to and still it will not make us fully pass. So we have to become worthy of worship. We have to become divine. So for that, it is very important that we, be, we imbibe complete purity. Dadi Ji, uh, we will have a few more points on their character. Uh, and her birth, and as soon as she got the recognition of Shivava, that how Shivava through Brahma created this yagya. So Dadi's love for this yagya was so much, but even then, along with that, she always protected the yagya. See, Dadi always used to explain everyone, some would feel it, uh, they would be offended, but whatever teachings she would give, she would give it a lot of love because nowadays there's no one, no one takes time to become opposed. Uh, opposed. Uh, they oppose very quickly and they become uh, betrayal, and uh, that's how the obstacles come in the Yagya. Baba's clan is so high that we shouldn't perform such action that the clan is defamed at some point time. Uh, it used to happen that nowadays it doesn't happen during the COVID time, but in Bharat, we never used to go to a shop because they used to say that it doesn't look nice for you to go to shop in this dress. And we never had to go because even now, whoever those students are there or whoever is assigned to bring things for the yagya, they would do themselves. Sister wasn't, wouldn't really go out and buy and do shop. Uh, but what is appropriate, what is royal is that, um, but here we have to do everything. We had to go to bank, we had to go to train, everything we learned to do. But now we, we don't have to do, but in the beginning when we came, but our Mariada of the clan uh, is that the vibrations of our purity as to what place requires what at that time is what we keep attention of. So keep value of the power of purity and check and do some checking. Is my attitude, my vision for any reason? Is it, is it being uh, pulled by anything or is there any impurity in it for any reason? The more there is importance of purity and we pay attention to our clans, Mariada and Dadi Prakashmani is an example of how Dadi had so much love for Yagya and she was such a protector and how Yagya would, should be successful through her tapasya of yoga, through her purity from every, in every way that Yagya would, should be successful is what she paid attention to, Om Shanti. Pavitra Param Puja.
पवित्रता की शक्ति परम प्योरिटी सुप्रीमली वर्दी ऑफ वर्शिप द पावर ऑफ प्योरिटी मेक्स यू सुप्रीमली वर्दी ऑफ वर्शिप यू ट्रांसफॉर्म दिस इम्प्योर वर्ल्ड विद द पावर ऑफ प्योरिटी द पावर ऑफ प्योरिटी कूल्स डाउन सोल्स हु आर बर्निंग इन द फायर ऑफ वाइसिस it frees souls from the bondage of vices of many birds with this purity this world is supported a little from the corporate on words know the importance of this and adopt the crown of the light of purity